Hi, I'm John Hornick. Welcome to lesson 97 of Chef's Apprentice, learning to cook like a pro one small plate at a time. This lesson is chickeny noodles soup. This is my take on a classic American comfort food. For people who love chicken, this is your dish. You will learn to make chicken consomme, which is a clear, intensely chickeny chicken broth. This consomme method can be used to make any type of consomme. You will also make an onion brulee, which is used to flavor soups and stocks and provides a golden color. You will also make pasta noodles for the consomme, which have been enhanced with chicken bouillon and cooked in bouillon water. You will also poach chicken in olive oil until it can be easily shredded with a fork. The challenges of this dish are to make and cook the noodles al dente, to make a clear consomme that screams chickeniness, and to make perfectly shredded chicken. Techniques today are making pasta from scratch, chopping, beating eggs, charring and making an onion brulee, processing, whisking, making a clarification, seasoning, bringing to a boil, simmering, and making a consomme, poaching chicken in olive oil, adjusting seasoning, plating, and garnishing. So let's start cooking. Okay, let's talk about the ingredients for lesson 97. This lesson has three distinct parts. One is the noodles, the pasta, the chickeny noodles. Second is the uh, soup, which is actually a chicken consomme. And the third is the olive oil poached chicken. So let's talk about them uh, individually. Uh, first, you're gonna need one large, boneless, skinless chicken breast. I've just left it in the package here for now. We'll put it back in the fridge in a few minutes. You also need to have enough olive oil to poach that chicken breast in. Now, I have some here that I've used to poach some chicken breasts just within the last few days, which I've kept in the fridge. And so I'm gonna use that. And what you wanna do is choose a pan that's just larger than the chicken breast, so, so that minimizes the amount of olive oil that you'll need for purposes of poaching it. Uh, <clears throat> then you'll need to have some uh, uh, kosher salt and a pepper mill. Okay, that, that's what you'll need to do to poach chicken. Uh, then you're gonna be making those chickeny noodles, okay? Which is basically the pasta master recipe, slightly modified, okay? so. Uh, you'll need to have a cup of flour <clears throat> and one of the ways it's modified is you'll need to have one uh, chicken bouillon cube, okay? And I'm using the NOR, K-N-O-R-R, -R, uh, chicken bouillon cubes. You need one of those cubes, uh, one egg, and you'll need to have olive oil. Now normally we use a tablespoon of olive oil in the pasta master recipe. You'll be using uh, one and a half tablespoons today and uh, we also use warm water in the pasta mask recipe, one tablespoon. Today we're gonna to be using a tablespoon and a half. You need that extra moisture and that extra oil to help hold that dough together after you have added the uh, chicken bouillon cube. And then for the pasta, we'll also need some kosher salt. And then we'll need to have some cornmeal to go down on the pan that receives the pasta so it doesn't stick together. Okay, those are the ingredients that you need to make the chickeny noodles. Now to make the consomme, which is the soup for the chickeny noodle soup, you'll need to have 10 cups of chicken stock. I already have that in the, in the stock pot here on the stove. And remember, we make our own stock in this course, uh, but if you don't uh, have that much chicken stock on hand, uh, or if you uh, can't make it fast enough, you don't have uh, enough chicken bones to do it, uh, you could buy chicken stock, buy the uh, unsalted chicken stock. Okay, then you'll need to have two coarsely chopped medium to large onions, and uh, two uh, medium to large carrots that have been peeled and coarsely chopped, uh, two stalks of celery that have been coarsely chopped. Then you'll need to have one small onion that has been peeled and cut in half. Then one uh, chicken breast, boneless and skinless, that you have coarsely chopped, and then you'll need to have uh, four egg whites that have been uh, whipped, okay? Now, uh, these haven't been whipped yet because they just came out of the freezer a little while ago. They're not fully thawed yet, okay? Now, those ingredients that I just named there, they're gonna be used to make what's called a clarification. The clarification is gonna go into the chicken stock and it's gonna cook, and what it does is it clarifies that chicken stock and intensifies the flavor, okay? Uh, also, to make the consomme, we're gonna need a bouquet garni. A bouquet garni is always thyme and parsley or parsley stems. I've tied them together here. 
You can put them into um, a cheesecloth or cheesecloth bag, but this everything that's in this stock is going to get strained out later on. Okay, so so it's not really necessary that they be in a cheesecloth bag. I have um, tied the parsley stems and the thyme together, it's fresh thyme. And then you'll need uh, one or two bay leaves, and you'll also need to have some uh, black peppercorns. And you'll also need to have about one tablespoon of white vinegar, uh, some uh, ground white pepper, and about one to two tablespoons of uh, scallions that have been uh, finally cut. I cut them on the diagonal because uh, they look better that way, okay? So that is all the ingredients that we need for Lesson 97. We'll break, come back, and I'll show you the equipment. Okay, for Lesson 97, we're going to need a cutting board and chef's knife. We're going to need a peeler to peel the carrots. And then we'll need some string for the bouquet garni. Now, as I was explaining before, you can just put all the bouquet garni uh, components into the stock pot um, by themselves, individually, because it's all going to get strained out later anyway. But if you want to put it into a uh, parchment bag, either use some, uh, not parchment, um, cheesecloth, either wrap it in cheesecloth or use a cheesecloth bag. Uh, or if you just do what I do and use some kitchen string to tie the um, parsley stems and the thyme. Okay, then um, we're gonna need to have the uh, equipment to make the pasta. Okay, remember it's the pasta master recipe. So you're gonna need a measuring cup for a cup of flour. You're gonna need some measuring spoons so you can measure out that olive oil and water. Then you're gonna need a microplane grater to grate the uh, chicken bouillon cube into the uh, flour that will be used to make the dough for the pasta. Uh, you need to have a pastry knife or uh, it's, it's, yeah, you do need to have a pastry knife. I was gonna say you can use a regular knife to cut the pasta when you need to cut it, but for mixing the pasta, you need to have a pastry knife as we did in the pasta master recipe. You need to have a pasta machine, uh, same one we've used in the master recipe, and uh, the cutter for uh, either linguine or fettuccine. If you're making for the number of people in the description, use the linguine cutter because it'll make more of it. If you're making for fewer people like I am tonight, then use the fettuccine cutter. The noodles will be wider, more like what you'd get in a chicken noodle soup, and, uh, and, and but there'll be fewer of them, okay? Then you'll need to have a sheet pan to receive the pasta after you've made it. And if you're not gonna cook it right away, you should cover it. So plastic wrap or if you have covers for these pans. Uh, we'll also need to have a uh, cast iron skillet and a uh, food processor. And then we'll need to have a stock pot. We already have that there on the stove. Uh, you'll need to have a whisk uh, to whisk the uh, clarification into the stock and a wooden spoon. Uh, you'll also need to have a ladle. And then uh, after you have cooked the, um, the stock with the clarification, you're gonna need to strain it into a clean pot. So you need to have a clean pot. It's big enough to receive that stock. And then you'll need to have strainers. Now, when I make a clarification, I usually strain it once with a coarser strainer, and then I usually strain it again with a finer strainer, all right? Then you'll need to have a pot that is uh, about the size of the chicken breast that you're going to poach, okay? You don't want it to be much larger because then you'll need to have more olive oil to do the poaching. And then uh, you'll also need to have some forks to shred the chicken, sizzle plate to receive the shredded chicken, and then finally you'll need to have a pasta pot with a colander to cook the pasta. Now I'm gonna use the same pot that I'm using to make the, um, uh, the consomme. That consomme will be in a different pot by that time, right? So I can clean out the uh, pasta pot and use it to make the pasta. All right, that is all of the equipment we need. We'll break, come back, and start cooking. Okay, we're gonna make the pasta for the chicken noodle soup. And um, we're gonna make it almost exactly the same as the pasta master recipe. I've already mounded the flour here in the center of the counter. But here's what's different. We're going to use a microplane grater and grate the chicken bouillon cube onto that flour, all right, and into the well. Then we're going to use um, a little bit more olive oil than we normally do. The master recipe calls for um, one tablespoon of uh, olive oil. We're gonna use a little more than that, more like a tablespoon and a half, all right? We're also going to use uh, a little bit more water 
than the master recipe calls for. Master recipe calls for one tablespoon of water. We're going to use about a tablespoon and a half. Okay. Break the egg into the well. Put in a pinch of salt. Now, I'm going to do most of the rest of this in fast motion because we've already done the pasta master recipe and we've already done pasta in a couple other lessons, so I'm not going to show you that step by step. You've learned that already. <laughs> Color, cutter. If you're making for the number of people in the description, you probably want to use the linguine cutter so you have enough. I'm making for fewer people tonight, so I'm actually going to use the fettuccine cutter. I have here my pan that's been scattered with cornmeal, and we're just going to cut all of this, uh, all these pasta sheets, and then put them onto the, uh, the cornmeal sheet. Okay, here's all of our pasta. Now, um, what you want to do is sprinkle this with a little bit more cornmeal and make sure they're all well, well, kind of well dusted with the cornmeal so that they don't stick together. If you're going to be cooking them uh, ele minute, then there's no need to um, cover them. Uh, but uh, if you're going to be cooking them later, like I am, actually, I'm going to be cooking them the next day, I'm going to cover them. Cover them with plastic or sometimes. Uh, uh, if you have a covers for these pans, you can use those. Okay, that is our uh, chickeny pasta dough. All right, the first thing on our prep list is to heat the oiled cast iron pan and to char the faces of that small onion. Okay, so I've put some uh, oil into this cast iron pan. I'm going to turn it on to uh, medium heat, and after it gets hot, we're going to char that onion. Okay, now our oil is getting hot. I'm going to put the onion down into that oil, swirl it around a little bit, get it coated. And then we're going to let the faces of that cut onion get charred. All right? Okay, let's check our onions. Oh, look, they've got a nice char on the face, all right? Now, uh, let's check the other one, too. Oh, yeah, looking good. All right, now I'm just going to take them out of the pan and hold them for a few minutes till we start to make the, uh, the consomme. Uh, this pan, by the way, we're not going to use this anymore in this lesson. But uh, it would be great for uh, doing a steak in there because it's got that nice onion flavor in the oil, okay? So uh, I'll probably just hold that aside and use that for some other purpose soon. All right, the next step on our prep list is to process the chopped chicken and the mirepoix. Okay, now I've already put the chicken and the onions and the celery and the carrots into the food processor. Uh, and I'm going to process them until they are uh, kind of like a mm, coarse paste. Now, if you can't fit all of your ingredients into your food processor, do it in batches. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, nice. Nice coarse paste. Okay. That's what we're going for, right? That's going to be the clarification. 
Okay, now what we want to do is add our clarification to the stock pot. Now we want to add our vinegar, it's about one tablespoon, and then we want to uh, take our egg whites, our four egg whites that they've been uh, beaten lightly, and we want to whisk them into the clarification. Okay, now what we want to do is add the chicken stock and we're going to pour it in slowly about half of it okay and then we want to stir that in gently add some more Stir that in gently. Add the rest. Now I'm going to clean this pot out so it can receive the uh, strained consomme later on. We're going to now stir this up again gently. Now we want to add the uh, bouquet garni, which is the thyme and parsley. We're going to add about a tablespoon of uh, black peppercorns and then one or two bay leaves. Why do I say one or two? Well, some bay leaves are tiny and some of them are large. If we have large ones, we'll use one large one. We've got two fairly small ones here, so we're going to crack those, put them in. And then we're going to add the onion brulee. And we want to add some salt, not a lot, just lightly salted. Remember, stock has no salt. I'm just going to put in a little bit of ground black pepper, but we already have those peppercorns in there, okay? We're going to adjust the seasoning later on, too. Now what we want to do is just bring this to a boil. Uh, we do not want it to come to a, a boil, a full boil. We don't want it to come to a rolling boil. We want it to just come to a boil, just starting to get some boiling bubbles. All right, so we're just starting to get some boiling bubbles along the uh, edge here. So what we're going to do is reduce the heat to low I want this to just simmer, okay, just simmer for about an hour, all right? All right, now after the clarification floats to the top of the stock, it's called the raft. Why? It's floating on top. And what we want to do is we want to poke a hole in the raft. I usually use the, uh, not the spoon end of a wooden spoon, but the other end. And I want to try to poke a hole in there. <clears throat> That's to try to let the bubbles come up, any bubbles come up through that hole. And uh, that's also where we're going to try to ladle out the stock later on. The hole, the hole in your raft may close back up. But you can see that we can see the we can see the stock through the hole in the raft. Okay, we've been simmering for about an hour. Now, and we have a hole in the middle of the raft. Now we're gonna try to do is um, ladle the stock out of the hole in the middle of the raft into the coarse strainer into a clean pot. We're gonna do that with as much of the stock as we can get. 
Okay, so I have cleaned out the pot that we started with and I've placed the fine mesh strainer over that pot. Now we're gonna strain the consomme back into the pot that we started with through the fine mesh strainer, all right? Then I'm gonna rinse out this strainer and strain it back into the pot that we just started with. Okay, I've rinsed the second pot, I've rinsed the strainer, now we're just gonna do our last strain back into the smaller pot. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce this stock to finish the consomme. Now we started out with 10 cups of stock. We wanna reduce it by roughly half, so we have four to five cups left after we've done the reduction. Now, I wouldn't normally do this, but since this is a lesson, I actually measured how much I have, and I have eight cups now. That means we lost two cups while we were making the, uh, while we're doing the clarification. And um, some of that was lost to uh, steam and evaporation. Some of it was absorbed into the raft and we lost it that way. So we're down to eight cups. I wanna now reduce this to four to five cups. So a little bit more than half. And, and if you look at this, you can see how clear it is. That's why it's a called a clarification. The camera cut off for a moment there. It takes all of the impurities out of the stock and um, intensifies the flavor. And by reducing it, we're gonna intensify the flavor even more. So I'm gonna put it on to medium heat and we're gonna let it come just, just to a boil. Just when it started to come to boil, we're going to adjust the heat so that it's just barely uh, boiling and re and so we can reduce it by about half All right, so we're now just coming to a boil I'm going to reduce the heat a little bit uh, and let it boil but a gentle boil okay and keep an eye on it we want it to reduce by about half now while your um, consomme is reducing you can start to poach the chicken breast now first we're going to season the chicken breast with salt and pepper. I separated the, uh, the chicken tender from the bottom of the breast. You don't have to do that, but it was coming off, so I just separated the two. I'm gonna do salt and pepper on both sides. Pat it in. All right, now we're gonna add the uh, chicken breast to the pot. I picked a pot that is just about the same size as the chicken breast, breast. And then we're going to add olive oil to cover. Now you can use fresh olive oil. I'm using olive oil that I used to poach some other chicken breasts a few days ago. So it has some salt and pepper and stuff like that in it. Okay. All right, now while our consomme is reducing, we're going to poach the chicken in the olive oil. You could also call this a confit because the uh, chicken is being cooked in fat. But usually when it's cooked low and slow like this, um, well, you can call it either uh, making a confit or making or poaching the chicken. So I'm gonna put this on low heat. And um, as it starts to heat, some of the moisture from the chicken is gonna to start to boil a little bit, so you'll know that it's getting hot. You want to keep the heat low and you want to let this uh, simmer in the olive oil, poach in the olive oil for um, until the till the chicken is uh, fork tender so we can pull it apart with forks. It's going to take at least 30 minutes, maybe 45. Okay, we've reduced the consomme down to uh, about five cups. We started with eight, so it's a little more than half. And uh, reducing the heat down to low. And now we're gonna adjust the seasoning, okay? Let's see. Mmm, got a lot of great chickeniness in there, but we're gonna add a little salt. Remember, we didn't add much salt earlier. And then we're also gonna add a little bit of white pepper so the pepper doesn't provide color. Stir it up. All 
and we'll taste it again. Mmm, perfect. Okay, perfect. Salt taste is just barely coming through. Now we're going to keep this warm until we're ready to plate up. I just thought I'd show you the great color of this uh, consomme in case you can't see it at more of a distance. Beautiful. All right, we're going to keep this warm until we're ready to plate. Just as we're ready to plate, we're going to bring it back to piping hot. All right, our chicken is poaching nicely. Uh, and while that's finishing, we're going to bring the water for the pasta to a boil. Now to do that, we're going to drop into the water, chicken bouillon cube, and put the heat on high, bring it to a boil. Uh, I'm going to cover it and just bring it to a boil faster. Okay, our chicken's looking beautiful. It's been poaching for uh, about, mm, I think about 40 minutes. And we're going to take it out of the uh, oil. We're going to blot them. Okay, now we're going to take them off of the uh, paper towels and use our forks to shred the chicken. I'm going to keep it in, you know, it can be in chunks, it can be in shreds, small pieces. Okay, we're going to take the chicken and we're going to put it into a small bowl and get rid of this board. Then, remember we only seasoned the outside of the chicken breast, so now we're going to do a little bit of seasoning so that we get it all on the, uh, the shredded chicken. And add a little pepper. And then we're going to uh, just add a little bit of the olive oil that we used for poaching to uh, moisten it, okay? And then we're going to toss it to mix. And then adjust the seasoning. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to keep that warm until we're ready to serve. Okay, our pasta water is boiling, so we're going to drop our pasta in. Now this is fresh pasta, so it's only going to take 30 to 60 seconds to cook. Okay, we're going to take the pasta out of the water, run it under cold water to stop the cooking. Okay, now we're going to keep the pasta in the colander here until we are ready to plate up, at which point we're going to plunge it back into the hot water, pull it out, and plate. Okay, time to plate. We have our bowl here. I've already put a portion of the noodles in the bowl. Uh, now we're going to uh, ladle in some of the consomme, and then add some of the chicken. Some scallions, twist of pepper, and there we go. That's lesson 97: chicken eat noodle soup, a chicken extravaganza. You can see photos of the final dish at my Instagram, which is at Chef's Apprentice. Cook like a pro. Next up is the last 
of the challenging category of dishes before we hit the ultimate challenge. And the so and that dish is ragged ravioli with smoked lamb and charred tomatoes. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.